In this video, you will learn how to control user permissions for your library in Kutubi Author. Now under the Manage tab, go to Hosted Libraries and you have your library selected from here. Now, if, if we want to have some user permissions, the first thing we must do is have uh, set our library to be private instead of public. Now a public library has all the books accessible by anyone. A private library introduces user permissions so you can control who has access and who doesn't. So to make our library private, we'll go down there to settings, the sub menu, and scroll down. You can see under book permissions, set to public. So we'll choose private. And once you click on private, you'll see there are many options that appear. I'm gonna explain quickly each one. So allow browsing. Uh, so basically there are two types of, of private libraries. There's the private library that will not allow users to enter the library in the first place. So they won't be able to see any, uh, any uh, to see the books or the, or the book covers or the descriptions. They will, be, uh, they will be faced with a login page basically and they will not be able to pass or see any information in the library unless they log in. Now if you check allow browsing you have something close to Amazon. So you go in, you'll be able to see the different book titles, you read the descriptions, the authors, and so on, and see the statistics. Uh, but you won't be able to uh, read the book or open the content of the book unless you have permission or unless you're logged in. Now, self-registration, this option, uh, if you check this, then you're giving the, the users the option of registering themselves so they will be able to sign up for an account and so on. If you have this unchecked, then there is no way for users to register unless you add them manually through Kutubi Author. Now device DRM is an interesting uh, option and uh, uh, for, for you as a, as, a, as a library or as an author, you want to protect your books and you don't want you know people uh, even uh, people who, who are rightful uh, who have rightful access and have a login to access the book you don't want them spreading around their uh, login and passwords to other people so that other uh, not rightful uh, users can access the books you want to make sure that the person who purchased the book is this is the only person who can access the book now device drm you can limit the number of devices that this user uses to access the book so this way you can ensure that he will not be able to distribute his login information to his friends and family and so on that's only him or a maximum number of devices uh, can access the book so if you check this it gives you another option this is where you set the devices per user now our recommendation is to have it three uh so say that's for two uh for for a laptop and for um, two mobile devices that's appropriate for uh, for personal usage anything more than that well it's, it's up to you you can do it if you want to clear all the devices for all the users in the library you can do so by, cl by clicking this anyway after you, you do the settings you click on save changes now go to the users uh item in the sub menu now this will list all the users in your library. You can add them from here at the top right. You can enter the email of the user. Uh, I have uh, typed this from before. That's why it, it's, it's appearing. So you, you add users using their email. You enter their email and you click on add. So it says add global user. Now the users that you add from here, uh, they will have global access to everything in the library. So they'll have access to every book, okay? Uh, now we're gonna see in a second how you can limit this so that uh, users can have access only to certain books or certain uh, categories and so on click on add global user okay and now you have this user in the list you have some options in the right you can activate the user or send an activation email so send an activation email click on that and we'll see as an example what the user receives. So I'll open the email client. And this is what he receives. Okay. Activate your account. It gives us a message and gives you a link. Now, 
you're going to be sending a lot of these notification emails to your users so something just to brand your library is that you can customize the header and the footer of these emails so if you don't want them to see Kutubi, if you want them to see your logo instead or your institute's logo you can have this you can do it at the same time you can also localize the emails so if your library is not in, uh, in english language you can have uh, one of 17 different languages to do so and you do all this from the settings uh, menu scroll to the top you see from the right it says email settings so you can put the name that he sees as the sender of the email no notifications uh, the email address uh, so when he, if he replies to the email it will be received at this email address content language so all our notification emails whether that's an activation email a password reset email new user sign up email so on confirmation emails all of these are translated to 17 different languages so you can choose them from here and the default is english of course and then you can put the some html for the header and the footer now the header going back to the email the header is this part the, the part which the the purple strip now if there's nothing you enter here then it will take the default value which is this design if you have something there then it will be it will replace it okay the footer the same you can put your own signatures your social links and uh, logo and so on now back to users so now if we uh, if we open the library let's open the library and see what will happen so something new that you see here is that you have a login button now if you click on uh, the book instead of having uh, if you remember previously when it was public it said open to read now it says login to read so I click on login and it will open the login dialog box where you enter the email and password and uh, you click on login so that's basically how it works now so the, uh, l let me delete this user and we'll see how to we can add more specific permissions now uh, we'll go to the books item in the sub menu say we want to add a user with permission to only access this book so to do this you find here you have a button called users you click on it now you can see it just takes you to the to the uh, to the sub page that we were on before which is users by the top here you see it says book colon and the name of the book instead of saying global users it says book users and also here instead of having add global user it just says add user now the user that you add here of course, it'll, it'll, it'll be the same behavior here in this interface. It will be listed here. But this user will only have access to that book. Okay. Similarly, you can do the same with categories. You can have a user uh, have permission to access an entire category of books. So you do the same. You click on users here. And you see from the top it says category, colon, and the name of the category. And you add the user. And then he will have access to any book that's uh, assigned to this category. Now, something interesting is users with access. You know, you have some users that are global users, others that are category users, others that are book users. So you have different levels of users. But for a certain book, if you want to know who has access to that book, you can see all the different users who have access to it. Of course, not not all of them have specific permissions to that book because you know you have a user that has global access to the to the whole library including that book so you'll be able to see a listing of everyone who has access to that book or you can see only the users that have specific permissions to that object whether that's a category or a book in many cases you'd want users to have default access to a certain book or a certain category of books now that is something achievable in Kutubi Author. Basically click on users for the book that you want to give default access to. And at the top right here you see an, a check that says enable for new users. So this means that any user who has signed up to the library or a new user that you added manually, he will automatically get access to
to that book. You can do the same with categories. So you can have like a category called free books. Uh, and you have it enabled so that new users can see the books, can see the free books. They can be like uh, samples from the paid books. And if they like it, then they, they can subscribe to the paid books.